what's going on ladies? First, let me fix my hair. Alright. What's going on bosses? Today we're going to do a review for Aziz Ansari's Modern Romance and his show Master of None. But before we get into the book and TV show, uh, I'm going to tell a story, my e-true Hollywood story on the realm of online dating. So I'm on this dating website called OKC, which stands for OKCupid. So on the website, there's questionnaires that you answer, and the website will give you suggestions based on how you answer the questions, like a match percentage. So there's, I think... There's an enemy percentage and there's also, I think it's called a compatibility percentage. So I saw this one girl's profile and we had an 89%. I looked into her profile, she had similar interests as I did and I thought, she was cool peeps, I was cool peeps, we can be cool peeps. I mean one of the TV shows that she liked was The Wire, which is by far my favorite TV show of all time. I can only name... One, two, three people who've seen The Wire. Or oh, just a little disclaimer, we're not going to reveal her name, just in case she happens to stumble upon this. We'll call her You Know Who, or She Who Must Not Be Named. And while you're there, can you give me the Harry Potter books? Isn't it a little late in the game to get into Harry Potter? And the messages that we're sending each other was pretty, like, good chemistry, I would say. Then she was like, you know, I don't like messaging on OkCupid. Here's my number. Uh, let's text you there. So let's fast forward to the next part. I invite her out to dinner and movie. We go to dinner and a movie. Things are great. Things are good. And then I go to drop her off. She says, hey, do you want to stop by my pad for a little bit? Wait a minute, mother. So I go up to her studio apartment. And she shares the studio apartment with her roommate. And sign number one, like the roommate got, got the hint that she had to bounce. That was sign number one. So her roommate leaves. And mind you, this is about, it's about 11 at night. So I was just like, dude, it's about to go down. So she turns on Netflix on the TV. And what do we do? We Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. No, really, all we did was watch Netflix and chill. The signs were there that I could have just went all the way, but I was an idiot. I'm, you see me like on the couch looking for Sebastian the Crab, like, oh, kiss the girl. And the signs were all there. Like, I can tell the tension in that room was like a piano string and it was being just stretched. The sexual tension was just like, <coughs> and uh, I can tell she was getting restless, but, I am not that type of guy. I feel that sex has some worth to it. I'm not a one night stand type of person. There's nothing wrong if you are, but that's just not the way I roll. I'm kind of like the last of the Mohicans, the last of the gentlemen. gentleman. Which is crazy because I think the old me would have just done it, but like I felt like I've reached this plateau of I don't know what you say I feel like I'm Yoda I am Yoda mm, horniness I sense in you here's a tidbit if you didn't know um, the voice of Yoda is also the voice of Miss Piggy oh no yeah I'm kind of proud of myself that I didn't um the old me definitely would have but I don't know I guess I feel like I'm I matured. Alright, let's just get to the review. So Aziz Ansari and Eric Klinenberg, they wrote a book called Modern Romance. Basically, it's what the title says. It's a book about romance in this new, advanced digital age. The book explores how, even though we technically have the world in our fingertips of potential spouses, the choices are a lot more but it's still very difficult on finding the one. The book explores how back in the day, you usually marry someone that was close to you in the neighborhood. Um, as technology advanced, we're able to explore 
outside the neighborhood, outside the city, even the world. There's a really cool example where Aziz and Sari's parents, they're actually were in an arranged marriage. And the way his dad decide, decided who to marry was the first girl was too short, the second girl was too tall, and the third girl he met, which eventually became his wife, was just the right height. And this was in a span of, I think, like an hour. That's what they said in the book. And Aziz and Sari is just mind boggled because it takes them longer to find a place to eat. It, something simple as that, but his dad made a choice to marry someone, a life-changing choice, in less time than Aziz picking a place to eat. This book is actually one of the funniest books I've, I've read. <laughs> Whenever I go out in public, I would, when I was reading this book, I would find myself laughing out loud, and people probably thought I was insane. But this book was pretty damn hilarious. <laughs> oh. Hi. If you ever get a chance to read Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, that's another funny book that I recommend. The book also explores romance in different parts of the world. Uh, Japan, France, and I believe it was Brazil? Or it was Colombia, one of the South American countries. And the culture is different when it comes to love. Also in Japan, it's considered very narcissistic to take selfies. So what people do in profile pictures, they take pictures of their cat or rice, co rice cooker. One of the things I like about this book is the rules of texting. There are no concrete rules of texting, and it seems like everyone makes up their own rule. The one that I liked was uh, the double response in time. So whenever someone asked a question, they would wait double the time to respond back. And I was just like, what? That doesn't make any sense. They also talk about, like for dating profiles, which profile pics are the best for both men and women. And then next, we're gonna talk about Master of None. It's kind of like an semi-autobiographical TV show about Aziz's life. I think the love interest in that show is based off of someone from his real life relationship. I don't know if it's the girl that he's currently with or it's one of his exes, but he talks about two girls and I can't pinpoint who Rachel is. Those that know me personally know that I don't like watching comedies. I know what. I have a black heart. I actually, it's the same thing with um, horror films. The reason why I don't like comedies is they're good at, for example, like horror films, they're good at scaring you and making scary moments, but as like a storytelling standpoint, they're not really good overall. The same thing with comedy. They can make me laugh, but I feel like as a story, it's not good. But the exception to that rule is Master of None. Like, it's very funny. I think story-wise it's it's very solid so even like without the comedy aspects I feel like it stands alone it's definitely one of the better comedy shows I've seen I used to think Orange is the New Black had the best soundtrack in a TV show Aziz and Sorry, Master of None by far best soundtrack of any TV show I also like the fact that Aziz and Sorry. Instead of hiring actors, he used his real parents. And his dad is definitely a scene stealer. Somebody put a cucumber up there, but I had to go and take it out. Bye. So there was a thing on Instagram where Aziz's dad used, all, he was explained that he used all his vacation time to film this show. And he told Aziz, he was like, I know acting is fun and all, but the only reason why I did the show was to spend more time with you. And I was like, damn, that's deep. <sighs> Which reminds me, the parents episode, man, that thing struck a chord in my heart, dude. Eric from the Tim and Eric Awesome Show is actually Aziz's friend in the show. That tripped me up. 
Oh no! The show Master of None and Modern Romance definitely, if you're a millennial, it it speaks to you. Like this show and the book is definitely about millennials. So you can totally, totally relate. And even if you aren't, it, it it's an awesome show. Like you have, you definitely need to see it. Oh, one thing that I tripped out about was, I didn't know this until I saw the uh, episode of, uh, or showed the brown face of Indian people. I didn't know the, the Indian guy in Short Circuit was actually a white guy playing brown face with an Indian accent. That's something I learned from the show. I was tripping out. I was like, whoa, I thought he was Indian the whole time. I think the biggest takeaway from at least the book, Modern Romance, is that first off, it's gonna go out to the guys and girls. Guys, right better messages if you're pursuing someone on a dating website. Guys seem to only respond with, uh, hey, or um, just very unoriginal messages. At the same time, the ladies, when a guy writes you a message, like, don't just ignore it. I mean, if it's a cat call, then I guess you can ignore it. But if a guy takes his time to spend a really well thoughtful, like, cool message, but I think it's bad just to ignore the message. I mean, I think, especially as a guy, I would rather hear someone make it make up an excuse than to just like totally ignore them. I mean, like in real life, if someone said something or a nice compliment, are you gonna ignore them? Probably not. And the biggest takeaway from the book is if you can consider that there is actually someone behind these profiles, I think we can do better. Alright bosses, I am out. So people ask me if I'm in a relationship. I am not. This just takes a lot of time and energy to pour into another soul. Um, I'm busy trying to write a comic book, reading, making YouTube videos. I mean, it's still, it's like, to be honest, it's like trying to fit Lord of the Rings into Harry Potter. Just not enough space and time. Um, yeah, so. But uh, here, here's a mind. <laughs> here's <laughs> here <laughs> here. <view. laughs> oh, an auto. Blah blah. Beep beep beep. Richard Feynman. Bye bye.